What's up everybody? Ghost Girl 007 here. Today's story is going to be a ghost story. Today's ghost story takes place in Altoona, Pennsylvania. It is about the Michler Theater. The Michler Theater is an art stage and movie theater located at 1208 12th Avenue in Altoona, Pennsylvania. It was designed by Albert E. Westover and built by local theater owner and manager Isaac Charles Michler. And it opened on February 15, 1906. Even then, it carried the highest destruction by being the first structure of its kind in America to be completely devoted to the theatrical suits. As in the early 1900s, theaters occupied the second floor of commercial buildings. Albert Westover, a prominent theater and architect of the time, designed the Grand House for Isaac Charles Michler, and his original plans remain on file along with other theater archive documents and memorabilia. Now for more backstory. Isaac Michler was born in Lanchester, Pennsylvania on September 30th, 1862, moving to Altoona to work for the Pennsylvania Railroad just months after his 19th birthday. After several years with the PRR, he opened a cigar store on 11th Avenue. The store soon became a gathering place for men interested in baseball for a number of years, placing teams with the Pennsylvania State League. His theological career began in 1893 when he took over the 11th Avenue Opera House, located on the corner of 11th Avenue and 11th Street. At first, was in partnership management the opera house until 1907 when it was destroyed by a fire during the same period of time he was along also managing the state street theater in trenton new jersey and the cambrian theater in johnson town pennsylvania isaac michler used his own money to build the Michler Theater and expected for him and accepted for the three months it took to rebuild after its own disastrous fire, the beautiful new playhouse flourished until 1920s. The building continues to remain in operation today but is home to several ghosts, including Mr. Michler himself, a howling dog, and a female spirit who is said to, be, to play pranks in the restroom, for it is known for its ghostly towels, or ghostly tales. There have been many testimonies of the hauntings at this hysterical theater, yet none as incredible as the story of a local 12-year-old girl. At the age of t two years old, a girl befriended a ghostly man at the haunted Pennsylvania Historical Michler Theater. The girl, now 12 years old, recalls fun times with a man in funny hats. One encounter comes from one of the Michelers' technical directors, Brian McConnell, Brian McConnell, when he was working on the stage of the theater and looked up to the second floor balcony near the projection booth and saw what he described as Mr. Michler himself looking down at him. Another former worker. Miss Leisha walked into the woman's restroom and found a woman dressed in a 1930s dress. She was just standing there, then suddenly the woman disappeared. She also has heard toilets flushing. 
and the water turning on and off when no one is around. So are there really ghostly hauntings at the Michelin Theater? Or are the guests just frightened by an illusion?